Hello students, uh, today uh, we will be discussing a topic which is three-phase full wave semi-controlled bridge rectifier. Three-phase full wave semi-controlled bridge rectifier. So let us discuss the circuit diagram for this. So as because it is a semi-controlled bridge rectifier, there will be instead of six thyristors, we will be having only three thyristors. So you can see on the screen, I'm drawing a circuit diagram. So it is having only three thyristors and three diodes. Okay, so we have taken a three phase AC supply, which is connected between these three points, point A, B, C. And naming of the thyristors are T1, T2, T3. And naming of the diodes will be T1, D1, T2, D2, T3, D3. It will be like this. So you have to remember the uh, way in which the diodes have been named in this case. And here we have got a FD, prevailing diode. This is our VS supply voltage, which is three phase AC supply, and we are measuring output voltage across the load, which is V0. Which is V0. So, this is the circuit diagram. So, here we have got three thyristors. So, each thyristor will be conducting for a duration of 360 by 3. So, that is 120. So, each thyristor will be conducting for 120 degree. Okay, now let us discuss about the waveforms. So first of all, we'll uh, start with the uh, red phase. So this is VSP, supply voltage phase, phase value of supply voltage. So we'll be starting with red phase. Red phase is our reference. Then yellow phase, yellow phase is lagging red phase by means of 120 degree. Give an extension like this. Then blue phase. Blue phase is 120 degree leading red phase. So now let us name uh, these things. Okay, let it be VC. VB. And VA. So these are the three phase voltages supply uh, VA, VB, and VC. 
Okay. Okay. Now let us assume uh, alpha in this case. Let us assume alpha is equal to our ninety degree. So as we all of us know that after this angle only phase A is becoming at higher potential than phase B and C. So we have to consider this uh, angle which is your pi by six. So pi by six, pi by six means thirty degree. So what what will be our omega t at which uh, the first firing will take place will be this pi by six means thirty plus ninety means the first firing is taking place at one twenty degree. It's taking place at one twenty degree. Fine. So. 120 degree means somewhere here. First firing is taking place. Just now we have discussed that each thyristor will be conducting for 120 degree. But after this you can see, all of you can see ki your potential A is becoming lower than your potential C. So after that uh, T1 cannot, uh, cannot uh, conduct. So that is why for the next, um, uh, you can see over here, this is your, uh, this gap is 120. After, uh, at which your T1 is fired. Okay. So uh, T1 should conduct for T1 along with D1, they are conducting. T1 along with D1, they are conducting. They are connecting the source with the load and we are getting the output voltage uh, t1 should conduct for 120 degree that's what we know but here after uh, this 120 degree plus see this this is your 180 degree 180 degree plus this angle is uh, to uh, 30 degree 180 plus 30 180 plus 30 is 210 180 plus 230 sorry 180 180 plus 30 180 is this point plus 30 is your 210 degree but thyristor should conduct for this is uh, the thyristor start uh, is start uh, start its conduct uh, start conducting from uh, this point where omega t is equal to 120 so it should conduct 120 for another 120 that means 240 but uh, you can find the difference over here it cannot conduct after 210 after this point it cannot conduct because reason is a is become lower than your c you can see a is becoming lesser than the value of vc va is become smaller than the value of vc so for another um, 30 degree what is the difference 240 minus 210 what is the difference difference is 30 degree so and um, for another or for next 30 degree none of the thyristor will be working because next firing is occurring after a uh, gap of uh, 240 that means another 30 degree at this point till this point none of the thyristors are working t1 is automatically off and t2 is being fired at this point so between this gap fd is coming into picture fd will short circuit the load that means the energy which is stored across inductor will be dissipated across resistor and v0 will be zero in this duration so next firing will take place from this time to this time that is for t2 thyristor t2 here also from this to this duration also from this to this duration another thyristor will be working so you can see it will conduct up to this this only so here t3 is fired and if you take an extension of this you will find It will be like this. So now let us let us draw the output voltage line. Give an extension first.
so this is v not line voltage output voltage line value all the x axis are same that is omega t so if you will be finding line voltage like in this case v a minus v c so here we will be getting a shape of the waveform like this uh, then zero before this also zero then v in this duration we are getting uh, for this duration we are getting uh, vb minus vb minus va and for this for this duration we are getting vc vc minus vb and we have to extend it also this side so it will be like this now let us write down the uh, output line voltages so this is va minus vb va minus vc so it will be vac line voltage and this will be your uh, vb minus va so vba this will be your vc minus blue minus yellow so vc minus vb so vcb and this will be an extension of this so vcb before vab vc will, will be uh, there okay in between the uh, line voltages are becoming zero so during this time fd is short circuiting the load fd FD is short circuiting the loads. So during this time T1 and D1 they are conducting. During this time T2 and D2 are conducting. And this time TT3, D3. And this is an extension. So T3, D3. So this way the cycle is completed. Okay, next. We will be uh, finding out the V0 average value. So for V0 average, we can have any of the uh, any one waveform we can choose say i have chosen this one that is your vac any one you can choose i have chosen vac so vac so this difference this to this is your uh, that small angle that small angle which you can remember this one this is your pi by 6 as we have discussed okay so pi by 6 plus alpha firing angle and this to this is this point to this point is 7 pi by 6 That is 210. So we have to find out V0 average. V0 average is equal to 1 by T, 0 to T, V0, D omega T. Now what is the time period? Time period is your uh, pi by uh, 2 pi by 3 that is 120 degree. So 2 pi by 3. So and this will be 2 for 2 pi by 3. Now in place of V naught 
we will be substituting next change instead of this we will be writing putting the limit pi by 6 plus alpha to 7 pi by 6 and instead of v naught we will be writing vac now expression of vac is not known to us so we have to find out that so let it be equation 1 for the time being ok so let us find out vac expression of vac so let us rub it out Now phase voltages, give a heading phase voltages. Now VAN, VAN means phase voltage of phase A with respect to neutral, N means neutral. So this we have chosen as red phase. So red phase is the reference. So Vm sin omega t, let it be equation 2, VVN is equal to Vm with respect to red phase or reference this is our reference Vn so with respect to reference Vbn will be lagging so minus 2 pi by 3 equation 3 Vcn Vcn will be equal to Vm sin omega t plus 2 pi by 3 so with respect to Van Vcn will be leading by 120 degree so that is why it is written plus 2 pi by 3 so these are the three equations for the phase voltages now next we will be finding out the line voltages so write a heading line voltages so for the time being we only need VAC expression of VAC because rest we do not require because using VAC we will be able to find out average value of output voltage VAC is equal to it is VAN minus VCN so equation 2 minus equation 4 that is you if you take VM uh, common so sin omega t minus sin omega t minus sorry plus 2 pi by 3 so sin a minus sin b formula if you are putting and then solving it out finally it will be equal to vac will be equal to root 3 vm on solving root 3 vm sin omega t plus pi by 6 let it be equation 5 now let us put equation 5 let us put equation 5 into equation 1 so that we will be able to find out v0 average so rubbing it out from equation 1 v0 line sorry v0 average is equal to 1 by 2 pi by 3 so I am writing 3 by 2 pi pi by 6 plus alpha to 7 pi by 6 VAC expression of VAC you have to write down into d omega t so here expression of vsc you have to substitute from equation number 5 and then you have to solve it out so after solving it is coming like this 3 root 3 vm by 2 pi into 1 plus cos alpha so this is the final answer for visitor average.